Good evening, Bio Nation. I hope you are doing well tonight. My name is Matt Williamson. And I'm Jacqueline Lauer. And you are watching Married Ecology Sports. So first of all, we apologize for the delay. Uh, we were just kind of waiting for Eastern to log on and say they're here. And it took like about 10 minutes. They're, the NACE rules are if, they don't, if the opponents don't show up within 15 minutes, an automatic forfeit. But they did make it. So we will have Smash today. I know... Those of you in the chat were kind of spitballing some ideas of what we can do in case we didn't have the Smash match. We do appreciate those ideas. Maybe we'll do an exhibition game or something down the road. Yeah. But uh, the Pioneers are going to be going up against Eastern University in Smash. Uh, also, we're going to try to um, keep tabs on the Overwatch match where they're playing against Kaiser University, Jacksonville. They are up 1-0 um, in the best of three series. Now, they are getting things set up for the Smash game, so very quickly, let's go over who's going to be playing today. And I believe in no particular order, uh, we're going to have sophomore Ryan Boggs, Kinku Dinku playing tonight. We'll have freshman Peyton Engel, Ginger Ale playing. We're going to have sophomore Zach Lane, the weed playing. And we'll also have sophomore Mackenzie McDonald, Anava playing. Now, our captain freshman Mason Rice, Cheshire. Yep, I think he's going to come in in game two, if I remember correctly. He might sub in, and it looks like they are getting ready to start. Okay, so let's go over a couple quick announcements before they start up. So first of all, uh, shout-outs to HyperX for being the official peripheral sponsor for Meredith College Esports. They have provided our facility with keyboards, mice, headsets, mouse pads, microphones. Great quality. If you want to check out uh, the HyperX to see if you would want to try out some of their peripherals, Please be sure to go to hyperx.gg slash MarionES. The QR code is up on your screen. Also, thanks over the moon for your support. Go check them out on Tuesdays with Marion at College Nights. All right, we are getting started, so let's get in here. And I think the audio, there we go. I was, just, I was making sure the audio was working. Yeah. But it looks like Ginger Ale is going to be starting off. Uh, and on she the court. fighting against a DK. Now, recently, our captain has been exploring playing with Donkey Kong. So this actually, I think, is a really good matchup because we've been having... The team's been having to learn the style that our captain usually plays, which is a very disrespectful Donkey Kong, and that looks very similar to what... Uh, Eastern's Donkey Kong is going with. So, because of that, uh... Ginger Ale's able to handle that pretty well. Ginger Ale has also turned on a lot more of the tilts, so we are still seeing a lot more special moves, but we're gonna see a lot less killing potential from those smash attacks, but they're gonna be very... they're gonna be a lot quicker moves. Just shy yeah. on the length with the recovery yeah. i mean that's a huge player from dk to throw her off the platform to make it difficult to get back on there and dk does have the charged up fist as you can see dk is smoking with that angry face that means that the wind up which a lot of um now usually you only see this with zoners like samus but dk can keep up a charged fist which we just saw him release and again, just like other zoners, the bigger the charge, the more damage it's going to do. I mean, we're already seeing two stock down for Ginger Ale. I mean, it seemed like she was doing pretty well early on, but just that first stock loss and been able to uh, kind of gain the lead here. And the other thing with DK with being such a heavy hitter, even at the high percentage, it's really hard to knock him off the platform. Yeah. And again, you do have the differences with, like, the heavies versus the lighter characters, and Corrin is lighter than DK, and while that hit would possibly launch a much, like, lighter character way off the map, like Sora and Pichu, Donkey Kong, uh, DDD, they're gonna be wanting to stay, and that was a fish with the forward air, which was... Yeah, we just saw that I mean, DK was able to take down uh, Ginger Ale without dropping a stock. Got to like 140 something percent, but it just was not enough, unfortunately. Mm -mm. Overwatch 1, round 1, now we're on round 2. Yeah, I watched him play a little bit while we were waiting for Eastern to uh, 
to be here. But yeah, it seems like the Overwatch team was playing very well. Congrats I have no idea. Hmm? Congrats on the round one win yep. for Overwatch. Yep, they have two more to go, so we'll see how they're doing. Derek will keep an eye on things and let us know. Kinku Dinku is up next with Roy. And of course, Eastern is going to have to stay in with their Donkey Kong, but now um, Marietta gets to shoot, gets to counterpick the map. So the question is, do they stay on Pokemon Stadium 2, or do they change it to maybe benefit... Do they maybe change it to benefit, or even uh, put at a disadvantage for Donkey Kong? I think they're checking the settings to make sure everything is good. And double check the, uh, the chat lobby. The yeah, they're timer just, seems yeah, they're just double checking the the timer to make sure all the settings were correct. Because the timer for Nace is seven, while the one for GLEC is ten. Correct? Uh, I don't remember the rules, but that's possible. So it, they may need to adjust the timer back to uh, the seven minutes for the the Nace settings. I think they're just double checking all that. Yeah, so just give us a second here as they're uh, making sure everything is good. Actually, let me go help them out real quick. All right. I'm going to double check the. Uh, I believe we do have a rule book. Sounds like they're starting soon. Uh, that's it. And the one for that's Fortnite. Oh, that's Fall 2022. I'll have to look up. Let me pull up. Let me see here. Would we have to restart? I don't. I don't think so. I'm trying to remember, I think I have. Let's see here, we're just gonna double check the. the structure. Just give us one minute folks as we're just making sure that everything is set appropriately. Limit online for 10 yeah, minutes. Yeah, three stock 10. Yeah. Yeah, so 10 minutes is correct. Checking the rules, three yeah. stock, ten minutes. Yep. It was already locked and loaded. They might be used to GLEC then, because that's like the. Yeah, but Eastern um, is not in the GLEC, oh. so it might be like in another league where maybe there's a different timer for it. I think, is GLEC three stock, ten as well as a three stock, seven? Three stock, seven, three people. Okay, yeah. So some of the other leagues might do three stock, seven, but Nace is the one that does. Three stock ten. Yeah, ten, time to online ten minutes. Yep. Oh, interesting. The land is ninety nine minutes. I did not know that. I guess if it's like you have people who are running down the clock. Mm -hmm. Okay, and we're getting an update in the chat that the Overwatch team has won the second map, so now they are up two to zero, one game away from. Uh, winning against Kaiser Jacksonville. We apologize that we were not able to stream both games at the same time. Um, the plan was that we were going to stream the Overwatch match that was on Tuesday, but the opponent forfeited, so we couldn't stream that. And Overwatch did play against Tiffin yesterday, but we weren't able to stream that. 
And but we are going to stream the Overwatch match sets on Saturday. So if you've been dying to watch some Overwatch, I know that you guys want to, and I apologize that we can't. But uh, we will be streaming the Overwatch match that is scheduled for this Saturday. So please be sure to come back for that. But it looks like we are getting started up. Yeah, I think we're already set. Yeah. Seems like... Just checking everything. Oh, they're still going for the map bands. I think they forgot to do that while okay. they were... Well, yeah, I think they're trying to figure out what the map is. Yeah, they're still talking over the uh, the map selections. I think this is like the longest gap time we've had between. Yeah, well, to be fair, Derek's been kind of helping with that and. He has to help with the Overwatch team with their match right now. I mean, it's possible the Overwatch match will finish before we get into the next <laughs> round here, so then Derek will be able to help them out. That's the problem with having multiple. I mean, the other thing, just for everyone to be aware, like since last week we didn't have we had spring break, so we didn't have any matches scheduled. I mean, technically they were scheduled, but we had to reschedule like 13 matches before and after the break. So like our Overwatch match for today is a reschedule. Uh, for uh, for what was supposed to be last week. So we've been trying to squeeze in all those. So it's been a little chaotic for the uh, past couple days. But yeah, they're just trying to get all the, uh, the kinks worked out. Yeah, I think everyone's just double checking to make sure to follow proper procedures. So we do appreciate everyone's patience uh, while we're getting all this set up. So while we're waiting, I'll finish up those announcements from earlier that I had to yeah. kind of rush through. So let's give, go back to uh, give a shout out to Over the Moon Pizza for their support. Uh, every Tuesday is Married to College Night at their restaurant on Front Street. So if you show up with your student, Married to College student ID, you'll get a discount on food and drinks. They'll have their Switch available where you can too play some Super Smash Brothers or some Mario Kart or some Mario Party and then they air our matches uh, on Twitch. So definitely check them out every Tuesday. So thank you Over the Moon uh, for your support. Of course we are always looking for more students for our esports program. We have varsity titles in Fortnite, League of Legends, Overwatch 2, Rainbow Six Siege, Rocket League, Super Smash Brothers of course and Valorant. Uh, we have our facility here uh, at the Gathering Place on campus. We have uh, several coaches for some of our teams. Uh, we do try to provide programming support uh, for our students so they can be successful not only in esports but in the classroom. And there are scholarships available. So if you're a high school senior or a college transfer, we would love to talk to you about that. For more information, you can go to our link tree, linktr.ee slash Marietta Esports. It has links to all of our social media channels. It has uh, links to the, the tryout forms, and you can even arrange a Discord call to talk to our head coach, Derek Games. So, once again, that is linktr.ee slash Marietta Esports. So, definitely check that out. All right, it's looking like they are we're almost ready. Yeah, we, there we are go. good to go. I know you guys have been waiting a little while, but... Uh, Hopefully your patience will be well rewarded. Kinku is going to be playing in as Roy against the Donkey Kong. Now Donkey Kong did not lose any stock, so they're going to just go right into it. And immediately going to chase Roy right off of the, the stage, but Roy gets right back on. We're seeing a very cautious playstyle from Roy, but of course Donkey Kong can easily close the gap and does have a bit of a nasty recovery with the with Donkey Kong's up B. And there's the disrespectful throw to recovery. But great recovery on King Kudinku's part. Yeah, but we're just seeing that Donkey Kong is doing all those mid-air attacks, all these tricks. It does take a stock off of King Kudinku.
Now, Kinky Dinky was just, um, during the warm-ups, was playing against Cheshire's own Donkey Kong. And I would not be surprised if during this match, well, during round two, if Cheshire comes in with their own Donkey Kong. Well, he's not on the, uh, the roster for the first game. He had to come right. into the second game. Great, right. no, counter great counter there! Counter. Woo! A whiffed out? Just missing. Donkey Kong is just missing those attacks and got it back with. I mean, the head, the headbutt to Barry is usually very, very nasty. So seeing, like the whiff with the clap, it's, it's great for Marietta. And thankfully, uh, Kinku, D I believe that Kinku Dinku can get in another stock because this, the this player does have a very aggressive pattern. But I'm sure that if Kinku Dinku can just watch out for oh and that was the move he was trying to go for earlier i could so he's trying to jump off the platform throw him off the corner and so, then just basically exactly what we saw there by hitting him on the corner of the platform get a ricochet just sending him right down yeah and there's no way to be able to recover uh from that And it looks like the weed is going to be coming in. The weed has been playing around with a few different Mac skins, so interesting to see him go with the invisible Mac skin. How that's that's what um, the weed calls it. And we're getting the bands from Eastern now. Yeah, so I think they're going to talk things over to see what would be. The uh, the next map here. But you see, they only took one stock off the Donkey Kong. He's been a quite a force to reckon with. So hopefully, we'll see uh, the weed on that little Mac being able to counter him. Little Mac and Donkey Kong have very similar um. How'd I put this? They have very similar um, attacks, but Donkey Kong has way more length and way more recovery. So, if if the weed is going through, um, if the weed is solid on Little Mac, he's going to need to play around with Mac speed and getting away from Donkey Kong's like spin cycle. But yeah, so they're still talking things over. Yeah, they're, they're just using the, the nace lobby chat to go over the, the bands. So while we're waiting, I still have some more announcements that we'll get through. <laughs> so we said earlier that if you're a high school senior or a college transfer, that you can get a scholarship to be a part of our program. That does require a tryout. And we do have two tryout dates for the month of March. So this Saturday, we will have in-person tryouts. So if you are coming to campus as part of our Navy Blue and White Day, you can set the trial while you can. And there's next Saturday online, and of course, they're starting things up. So let's get back into this. I try to throw an announcement, and then they start up right away. But all right, we're going to see the weed as the little bad go up against Donkey Kong. Let's see if he can take Donkey Kong out. And they're going with small battlefield. Wait, what? what um, they're going for the. Uh, I think they're going to reset. They're going to reset. They're going to reset because the Donkey Kong just immediately went to attack. Yeah, you're not supposed. Yeah, he, I think he forgot that he lost the stock. So we're yeah. just going to reset that. It happens. I think he even did the I don't know emo because I think he just went like, oops, I forgot. Yep. I think we need to switch. Yeah, <laughs> they, of course they switch, but that's all right. We'll fix it. So let's try this again, shall we? 
There we go. Okay, now we're good. You're gonna have to emote. There's their emotes, and Donkey Kong is already charging up one big swing. And there's the weed playing around with Little Max speed, but unfortunately, Don uh, on the small battlefield, that is going to be very little room to get away from. Interesting that they ch that Marietta chose small battlefield, but a great, great counter. counter. But of course, Donkey Kong does have a ridiculous recovery. I think that both Donkey Kong and King K. Rule have the best recoveries out of the heavies. The KO Punch is ready and raring to go, so it- Oh, what whiffed. The thing that the weeds got to be very careful with is Donkey Kong's style of trying to grab, launch, yep, just like this, because he doesn't have the recovery that uh, other ch characters have. No, and again, I know that this is Marietta's um, weakness. There's not a lot of characters that we really throw with, but I feel that throwing out with some of these characters that shield, like this Donkey Kong, would be very beneficial. And the Donkey Kong just keeps going for the throw and got the attack on the up B. Matt going for that smash attack, but getting attacked so that way it's just destroyed. Trying to go for that shield break and failing. Trying... They're both trying to store up their own... And there's the shield break. Trying to get the full special. And getting we'll get another it. stock off of the Donkey Kong. But again, the weed is left on one stock and is near that edge. Yeah, Donkey Kong just needs one big hit, but he's also just like that. But the KO is active, but it's probably not going to be enough even if he lands it just because of how big DK is. My recommendation would be trying to lure Donkey Kong onto one of those platforms and trying to get it underneath. Oh, but there's it gone. Getting close. Trying to counter out that clap, but Donkey Kong waited it out. Yeah, I think he just flinched a little too soon and got punished for it, but... but yeah, we're just seeing that DK using that same grab technique, and it worked very well against the, uh... Yeah, it just worked very well against the, the little Mac, just because of his weakness with recovery, but... Now we're gonna see Ainava coming in. Uh, I'm gonna guess the Min Min. Yep. And that actually could be very advantageous by having that extra range to try to keep Donkey Kong away from her. Oh, absolutely. The The real issue is going to be Donkey Kong getting up close and personal seems to... That's what really um, gets a lot of the... Gets a lot of the characters in is Donkey Kong is able to close that gap really, really well. Like, you can see a... You can see a donkey, you can see a Bowser's like when they're forward airing closer and that's like the hurt box and then there's um, a thing that's like the cooldown. Mm -hmm. With Donkey Kong's um, spin cycle, there's the spin and then you can go into fighting immediately if you get out of that and don't let it go fully. All right, so they're looking at map selection. So I'm gonna guess they're given the band. So what map will Marietta choose? Your guess is as good as mine. Honestly, I think that the safest ones for uh, Marietta to choose would probably be something like regular Battlefield or the Pokemon maps like Pokemon Stadium 2 and Kalos. But Donkey Kong would also do really good on Kalos because Donkey Kong's recovery can reach up to those platforms that are off of the edges. Yeah, double check in the, the lobby chat. Yeah, so they're just going over all the different bands. Both, so they, man. 
I think the safest one for Marietta to go with is probably play Pokemon Stadium too. And that one was not banned. Yeah, so they're still just kind of working out the, uh, clarifying that which ones are banned. Final Destination might actually be a good one, because it, one isn't, there's a, we do have an Overwatch, um, Yeah, we just received update. official word, although you guys in the chat, because of the three minute delay, we're gonna see this talk about three minutes after you guys see it in the chat. But congratulations to the Overwatch team on their 3 0 victory over uh, Kaiser Jacksonville. So great job uh, by the team. We wish we'd be able to show it, but don't forget, there will be more matches on Saturday where we will have our Rocket League team playing at noon, and then our Overwatch team will be playing at two o'clock. So you can definitely, uh, if you need to get your Overwatch fix, please be sure to join us on Saturday. All right, looks like they're going with Hollow Bastion. And are they gonna change it up on us again, are they? <laughs> we'll see. All right, we should be getting yep. things started up and adjust the uh, overlay here to make sure we have the correct sides. So it is going to be up to Inava on the Min Min to take down 10 stock from Eastern University. Anything is possible. Are we going to see the upset? The DK will have to jump off twice. We still have to watch his throwing technique. But looks like they are ready. Looks like Donkey Kong is already aware of Min Min's arms and immediately set out to the sides. However, Inaba is playing the Min Min fairly well. And like, even though Inaba is being pushed to those edges, Inaba is recognizing the strategy of this Donkey Kong. Oh my goodness, it backfired on Donkey Kong. And Min -Min. He goes for the launch, but he couldn't get back up to the platform, and he fell before Min Min does. So... Meaning that Min Min lost no stocks. Now, the Donkey Kong was going for their usual options, but they had to go out farther because of Min Min's grapple. We saw that Min Min's grapple was going to save her. Yeah. Yeah, he had to throw it out even further, and it just flew a little too close to the sun there. I'm sure chat right now is like, ah, that's what you get, throw, using a cheese mechanic like that throw and getting punished for it. But hey, that happens. That's the thing about Smash. It's, it's very interesting to see all these different play styles that we normally don't see during practice. So seeing how these players will utilize these different characters. And that's what makes Smash so interesting to watch. But now there's a group of players that 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 our team like has no idea how to fight them. Yeah, and the fact that with the other three people on Easter's team, they can choose something to counter Min Min. Mm-hmm. Because Min Min is kind of a zoner character. Uh, I don't really know what exact character can counter Min Min, if there are characters that are specific to counter. I would say probably characters that have a lot of speed that can really try to get in your face. So, so things like, like a, Sonic. a Sonic or a Fox. Um, I could see that being a possibility. But something where like very up close, up front, quick melee type characters. I know that smaller characters like Pichu as well, even though like a lot of the characters are like hittable sizes and Pichu is very light. If you have one that can just duck on. They're going with Hero. 
Now, part of what the Smash team likes to do is they like to play randoms, and one of Ginger Ale's favorite characters to play, not competitively, is Hero. So, Inalva does have some experience fighting against a hero. But once again, we're seeing Hero kind of using that place that we're talking about, just trying to kind of get in, in the face so that the arms can't really do a whole lot. And those abilities will allow Hero to even attack from a distance. Like a huge hit there. I think that's, that's one of the one hit KO moves, which there's boom and then there's... And just using the ice right from the ledge. So that's already two stocks down for Marietta. And there's the snooze to get that full smash. But we do see that grapple from... Oh, but Hero just spent all of their... All of their MP. They're not worried about just trying... They do get it back very quick. Yeah. And then you start how to use the, the range of those arms to try to get some damage in. Great hit with the, uh, the Dragon Fist. Oh, but there's the... Oh. And just like that. Oh, not like oh, that. Not yet, not yet. Trying to use that dragon fist, but... Oh, oh that is going to do it, the though. There's kaboom. So with that, uh, Marietta will fall, losing their stocks, and Eastern will take the first game with nine stock remaining. So now I'm gonna get things set up for the the second game, and the really the, the story of the first game was that Donkey Kong and his kind of carry, carry launch mechanic over yep. the uh, the platform, and like that's that's. I think that Donkey Kong is the only one that has a grab where you can move while you're doing that. I mean, technically, Kirby can too. Oh uh, yeah, not Kirby. as effectively, but Kirby could. Kirby can, yeah. I think Yoshi can mm -hmm. with the uh, with the eggs. But Donkey Kong is able to do it most effectively, and despite the fact that Cheshire has moved on to like experimenting with Donkey Kong, Cheshire doesn't really do that strategy. So I wouldn't be surprised if the Donkey Kong comes back in early from Eastern, that Cheshire would come in for the second round. Yeah, I think he's definitely going to be subbing in. I'm going to double check the... Yeah, just trying to get things set for the next game. But I would expect Cheshire to, to come in for this one. Character picks are. Yeah, so they have to, in the, the Nace chat, they have to reveal who their starter is going to be, including the characters. Uh, so they're trying to do it, like, at the same time. So it's not like you can counter pick someone. So it looks like it's going to be Ness versus DK, and Cheshire is going to be leading the charge as that DK... He's gonna be like, okay, you guys are gonna play DK? Well, I could play DK too. Yep. All right. So uh, Cheshire did get a uh, a uh, a switch recently from the GameStop that is Donkey Kong theme, oh. which I'm pretty sure they are gonna be using yeah. to play. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that controller. Yeah, he's definitely gonna use the, the DK switch controller. But yeah, they're getting things here set up uh, for that. So while we're waiting for that, we'll go ahead and just hop into the, the lobby. Because... <laughs> they I... gotta play that DK rap. <laughs> All right, chat, you can join in this rap if you know it too.
Okay. Looks like they're still going over map bands. But we can just enjoy some DK rap while we're waiting. Alright, so they're taking care of fans first. It looks like Battlefield, small Battlefield, and Pokemon Stadium 2 will be banned for this first matchup. So we'll see what the uh, selections will be. And it looks like Final Destination will be the first map. Just waiting for them to lock that in. Final Destination. All right. And they already did say it is going to be Ness. Uh, starting off for Eastern. So we're going to see how this matchup is between Donkey Kong and Ness. Oh, they, they went with the Ness classic skin versus um, Cheshire going with the purple Donkey Kong for... And they are... That Ness is trying to stay way far from Donkey Kong, but of course Donkey Kong is a melee character, so he has to get into it. Yeah, we're just seeing, but using all those PK abilities to kind of do some ranged attacks. And there's the PK fire, which very spammable. And there's the home run bat, trying to ledge guard, but just failing. Trying to get that smash attack off. Getting that PK Thunder, but launching DK back up, only to launch him right across the map. Yeah, just using those combos very well, knowing that the PK Thunder would launch him in the air, and then just getting that in-air side attack to launch him off the platform. Interesting, wasting no time with the combos with that PK fire. Yep. And Ness is kind of a zoner character, which... Again, not a lot of Marietta plays with the zoner characters. It looks like going for that charged up punch Getting the PK Thunder off and that air spec I think that's like the ups- no, that's not the up special, but that, that- Going for that chase and- That was very risky. Yeah. Especially when he's down to one stock. And he's trying to get a stock off of Ness. But Ness has some insane recovery because he can use his PK Thunder to launch him in the air. And attack anyone who tries to get him with that spike stuff. Trying to avoid that PK fire and going for the spin cycle. But I think that this nest is experienced enough against their own DK to know DK's kit. Although Cheshire does play a little differently than the DK that they play against. Oh yeah, like he is, be they are being much more conservative with their Donkey Kong and using their super armor. But there's the PK Thunder, which yeah, just... can actually chase 
Yeah, and, t- game. and taking down the Donkey Kong without dropping a stock is a very hard build to swallow. But just using those combos very effectively to keep a distance and not giving Cheshire a chance to really land a lot of hits himself. But it looks like uh, Kinku Dinku is going to be coming in for the next game. So we're going to see here. He probably brings in the Roy. Looks like Kinkadinku might have to go back in because of... They still marked as Cheshire's controls. Yeah, so we'll have to make sure all the, the settings are good. And... They are going with small battlefield. Okay. And we yeah. are going to have to switch. Yeah, that's all right. But yeah, the bands were the, uh, the levels that had triple platforms. But Eastern does not like the maps that have triple platforms for some reason. And they're going to be able to go right at it since Ness did not drop any stock. And King Kandiko right away trying to get some attacks in. And there's a PK fire into the down throw. That seems to be what Ness is trying to do with a lot of the PK fires. It's get two of those and then the down throw. But it looks like using that PK thunder actually helped Kinku Dinku get back onto the platform. There's a parry. There's the back throw. PK star, which I... I don't know if that has a secondary effect. I don't know how strong it is. It's just, it's a big hit that can uh, launch you. Ah, uh, okay. The thing with Ness is he is vulnerable as he's using those abilities. So the way you gotta counter is you have to dodge the abilities and then try to get right into his face. Kind of like Min Min. Yeah. But he's especially vulnerable while he's using his abilities because he's charging them up while it's happening. Yep. There's the meteor smash. Charging up for that smash attack and... Oh, uh, going for the... Changing it up. There's the PK Thunder hitting themselves. So yeah, he's just not wasting any time with his PK combos. And Oops. even with that block, it was still enough to take him off. Yeah. I think it was like just out of the counter window and right underneath Roy, so that mm. explosion just took him out. So to see what they're going to be picking next. It looks like Cheshire, uh, I'm sorry, uh, Ginger Ale will be coming in. So we're going to see that Corrin come back out. Now I'm just going to figure out the... Uh... Yeah, so they're just still trying to figure out what the uh, next maps uh, will be.
Right. And while we're waiting, we'll throw in one more shameless plug. How about that? All right. All right. So we want to take a moment to thank all of you for your support. Thank you for your follows. Um, thank you for your subscriptions. It is the main source of revenue for our esports program. So the subscriptions are greatly appreciated. You do get several benefits uh, by subscribing to our Twitch channel. So first you get instant access to our VODs. We do put our videos on YouTube, but it takes a couple days to get everything processed. If you're an impatient person like I am, then uh, you can watch them immediately after the broadcast or very shortly after the, the broadcast. Uh, by subscribing. You also get access to our custom Marion College emotes courtesy of our communication brand management department. You can see some on your screen and I've been hinting in some of the streams that we are working on a new set of emotes. Very different in style and the game's coming in so I'll still talk a little bit about this as we're uh, getting in here. But they are a, a different style, a lot of emotion in the pioneers faces and what we're really excited about is there's gonna be different variations. So if you identify yourself in a different way, you can choose emotes that correlate to your identity. Nice, that, that sounds fantastic. And immediately we're getting a lot of the Ness going for that PK fire. And then you can see like right as he's coming out from the PK fire tower, like he's going for that down throw, for that grab to down throw. I'm really nervous about this this nest that I'm seeing. Yeah, I mean, to. you just have to dodge the the PK fires that because that seems to be his go-to. Use the PK fire, and then follow up with like two more PK fires. Nice recovery from Corrin to the down air to get some extra damage. However, with those smash attacks now off, it's harder to get like that extra bonus to. Now trying to use that PK Thunder again to keep launching Corrin. There's the counter to stop that, but Corrin is at a very high percentage, which leads to that up throw. But there's the side special. And some great combos in there. I really feel like Ginger Ale could benefit from a lot more up throws. And there's that PK bubble. Great to be able to dodge any other future hits. Using the shield to block the combo from Ginger Ale. And also I kept forgetting that Ness has a recovery mechanism. So whenever Ginger Ale is using the charge shot, has to make sure that Ness doesn't use it to heal. Yep. A great hit there, but still not enough to get him off the platform. But gonna use the PK Thunder to, to launch try it. to do that headbutt. And a great counter by there to take down one stop from Ness. But now he's using that PK Thunder again and that baseball bat, but. There's the recovery, though. And while Corrin do is getting higher up in percentage, we know that Ginger Ale is a really good player to, to be able to get back onto the platform very quickly despite the higher percentages. Using that um, counter to the up B was fantastic. Because the up B, I do believe, can also... It can damage, but I think it, because of that damage, it can also cancel um, other damage that Corrin would take. A great dodge there by Corrin on the, the PK. Yeah, it counters the one PK Thunder, but more PK Thunders are coming. Yeah, just too much high percentage. So I mean, the, the challenge right now is while Ginger is doing a better job of dodging 
the, the PK th fires. Ness is still getting damage in here and there. And Ginger has not been able to get a lot of combos off himself. So we already see already close to 100% damage, but just a few abilities from Ness. And there's a the smash attack, but there's the counter. There's the up throw, trying to go to PK Star and yeah. ramming right into it. Yeah, setting up launching her very far away, using the the PK cross to basically be kind of like an edge guard as you're trying to dash back on there and let that go at the right time. So now it is going to be up to the weed. Now, honestly, I don't think that Little Mac would be a good choice, but they're gone. Are what? they going with the Byleth? Because while while Little Mac is really, really good against a lot of the characters, I don't think that it would be good for against the Ness, unless the Weed is confident in the speed of getting away from uh, Ness's, I believe that's Ness's forward air or back air. Yeah, the danger is going to be the PK Thunder. Yeah. Because using that to just keep Little Mac in the air, and he's not going to be able to do anything while mid air. Absolutely not. Yeah, no. And Little Mac doesn't have a down air that can get him close to stage. Mm -hmm. yeah, I think that's one of the reasons why Ginger Ale held up as long as he did against the Nest. He used a lot of counters against the PK Thunder and been able to dash it down quickly. But yeah, Little Mac does not have that capability. But they are going on Final Destination, so there's going to be no platforms that... Ness could take advantage of to get underneath. However, there is the idea of launching. They're both pretty light characters. Yeah, so I mean, if Little Mac can get some big hits onto Ness, it could cause him flying. And he will have a one stock advantage in this matchup. But there's still 11 stock total for the entire team, so he's going to have to try to take down at least a couple stock without dropping any. Yep. And we've seen him do that before in other matches, so it's not out of the realm of possibility. But I would not be surprised if that Donkey Kong is hiding in the back. To And we saw the fight between the Donkey Kong and Mac. It's definitely possible. But first things first, we gotta get through the Ness. Yeah. Um, I think needs to drop a stock. Okay. Yeah. Making sure. I think they both forgot. Yeah, but I think we're good now. The weed not emoting. We just ready. But there's getting Mac into the air. There's the air dodge though to get right back in and hiding up that special to launch Ness. Of course, there's the PK Thunder. It looks like Little Mac is going for that special because I believe that allows him super armor. But there's the smash attack and there's the thunder to get him up back into the air. Just like you said, gonna be juggling. Using the KO punch to whiff it. A very interesting strategy, but again, losing a stock due to just the too high percentage. There's that combo with the PK fire that we've seen several times. Trying to bait for that smash and then going back, getting countered because when you're doing that smash attack, you gotta stay still and you're basically open for Ness to PK fire right at you. There's the counter. And it looks like Little Mac was trying for that special to just launch Ness again. Once again, it has to get ready about using that chain of PK Thunders. 
using the KO punch to break through that shield. Break, he, there's the shield break, so trying to get that special charged up and launching Ness, but of course it was at 0%, so that wasn't too far. But getting that counter when Ness is trying to get what looked to be, I think that was the start of the uh, smash attack, but unable to recover because... Using that PK fire combo once again. Does have his KO ready, but, but there's, the, there's the PK Thunder to bait it out. Getting that smash attack, getting whiffed. I think that if uh unable to land the It's a great uppercut, but not gonna be enough. Oh. And that's going to be it, unfortunately. So I mean, just that huge launch was enough to take out uh, the weed. So with that, the Pioneers will fall 0-2. to two. Make sure I get the, the right button here. Wait, no, this button. All right, there we go. But yeah, just playing against a very good Ness. Just the, all those combos and just not having a good answer for it. Mm -hmm. And the Donkey Kong beforehand. Just both of them were really, really tough opponents. They really knew their own character's kit, and they seemed to be able to take advantage of not only their own kit, but reading out their opponents, such as knowing Little Mac's um, not very good recovery and using that to their advantage, or... Uh, Donkey Kong being able to throw and then recover right back on the only one that really he couldn't do that with was the Min Min. Mm -hmm. Oh, he tried and it tried. backfired. Yep. Uh, all right, so that is going to be it for us today. As a reminder, we will we will not have any streams tomorrow, but on Saturday our Rocket League team will be playing at noon, and then our Overwatch team will be playing at two. Once again, congratulations to the Overwatch team for their three zero victory against. Uh, Kaiser University Jacksonville now for smash we will have several matches coming at you next week uh, I think I was double checking the schedule and there might have been like three matches possibly let me double check the schedule here uh, our screens went black yeah it just went black hold on we should be good here maybe okay we're good we're good <laughs> That was weird. That that's never happened before. Okay, I think you guys. I think we're still stream. We're still live. We're, we're still live. Okay, we're still live. Okay, uh, but no, for our Smash team, let me pull up the schedule here. The let's see here. So next week, actually, it might have been three Valor. Let's see. Yeah. Um, I see Windener. Yeah, Widener Thursday at seven o'clock. And then on Friday, they'll be playing again. Yeah, there'll be three matches next week because they'll play Winer on Thursday. Next Friday, not tomorrow, but next Friday, they'll be playing against University of St. Francis at 6 o'clock. And then we do have a match with Mountain Union. It's supposed to be next Saturday, 25th, but the time is to be determined. So there'll be three Smash matches uh, coming at you next week. And we'll try to see how many of those we can stream with several games going at the same time. Some games will be streamed, some will not. But... For all the latest updates with what's going on with Meriden College Esports, please be sure to follow us on Twitch, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok. Shoutouts again to Over the Moon Pizza and HyperX for their support. Thank you all for your follows. Thank you for your subscriptions. And give a give a hand to Jackie here for helping to, to commentate. It's Thank always you. fun to, to have you here to, to talk about Smash. It's but, always fun to be here. Yeah. So thank you all for watching, and we hope you enjoy the rest of your evening.